What's up guys, I'm Phoenix Master one and welcome back for some more Shadows of Valentia. In the last episode, we beat Jedha and got his Draco shield and this time, we're gonna take on Duma Tower and pretty much finish Salika's route and I'm gonna be using these 10 units for this dungeon and in this episode, I'm gonna be promoting Jesse, Atlas and Conrad into their third tier classes and I've also given Jenny the Draco shield as uh, she pretty much takes like one or two damage from a lot of hits and this is a really tough dungeon as uh, it is pretty big and it has got really strong enemies so you need to be pretty careful it has also got a lot of items which you can get the tower is massive oppressive like Duma's power given form what lies beyond the quest for ever greater power? Perhaps that answer lies at the tower's peak. Alright, so we got some flower, and we got mana herbs, and some silver marks. And here you can actually find an arcanist right up ahead, actually. Um, actually, we have to go this way. There is an arcanist, so we're gonna be attacking him. And I'm gonna try that uh, my Jesse and Conrad can get a level up. You have to play very carefully when you're in this dungeon because uh, if Selica dies, you cannot really use Mila's turn wheel and you will have to start over the dungeon pretty much. And that can be really, really annoying. So let's use Excalibur and kill this guy. And Sonia is gonna get a level up. I feel ravishing today. At your service. Okay, so um, I'm definitely gonna be attacking this guy with uh, Saber, and then I can finish him off with Jesse, so that Jesse can get the level up. And now he can be promoted into a Dread Fighter. And we can finish off this guy with Atlas. Okay, never mind, he's not gonna die, but S is gonna finish him off. And then we have got only one Arcanist left, so um, definitely gonna have to use Celica, if you like. We can use a Scalibur. High crit chance, and she's gonna get a crit. Alright, so these two units can be promoted now. And we actually have to go this way. Um, and we can get Silver Purse plus from here. So we got a lot of Silver Marks. And then we have to enter here. And here there is another Arcanist. So we gotta defeat him first. All right. All you want to actually face as many enemies as you can so that your units can become stronger. As some of the battles up ahead might be pretty tough. So let's use Seraphim magic to take out this guy, and Jenny is also gonna get a level up. Is good luck another of Mila's blessings? And we can attack you from here with Leon. Okay, so you're pretty stubborn, you're not gonna die to Leon. And then we can use uh, Katria. Katria does not take out this Arcanist. I'm gonna use Beloved Zofia. And then I'm gonna try to attack this uh, Arcanist with Katria. Alright, so we got Mana Herbs. <laughs> I did pretty good, right? And now we can actually access the Mila Shrine here. So let's break these pots. There are not really any kind of enemies here after you beat that Arcanist. And if you guys remember, uh, when I entered the dungeon, I had six silver marks and now I've got 112 pretty much. So you can easily get a lot of silver marks from here. And here you can find a sacred spring, which gives you speed. So I'm gonna be giving that to Leon. And then another one to um, Katria. Alright, so let's uh, go into the Mila's Shrine now. 
and promote our units, and then we'll be done. And here we can find mana herbs as usual, and Duma Moss. And if you look carefully, this Mila's idol does not have a head. That is pretty creepy. So let's go ahead and promote our units. As your will commands, Mila. Not sure I get what's going on here. But leave it to me regardless. My body is your plaything, Mila. Alright, so we are good to go. Now let's exit and go back. And the enemies will actually respawn, so we can battle them once again. Or you could just avoid them in the first place and then battle them this time. I just prefer battling them because like I said, um, it definitely makes it a bit easier for you near the end game if you have... Uh, a little more level ups, so it's never too bad to face too many enemies, especially on this uh, tower. So as usual that Arcanist is going to be right there, and what we have to do is just bait him out. Otherwise that other Arcanist, which is in the hallway, will also just join us. So that's why um, we're just going to be distributing the enemies so that it does not get overwhelming for us. Can this guy just walk? Like, is he having strokes? Okay. So he just ran into me. That's fine. And now, this time around, this guy has got some witches. I see how it is. Okay, so now we have got Conrad promoted. And uh, he's definitely not scared of these uh, witches. So, um, we can finish off these... Oh, wow. Est, why are you weak at this point? Um, okay, Leon takes out this witch, so that's good. He was able to hit uh, that witch through this pillar because of Iron Bow's accuracy. And that's why I really like Iron Bow, especially on Salika's route. Because it is definitely much harder than uh, Arm's route. So let's take out this witch. And she's gone. And then we can use uh, Sonia to attack this guy. And get a crit. Down goes that guy, and then we can use uh, Mage Ring and attack this Arcanist safely, very safely, and Salika is also gonna get a crit, and because Atlas has got Brave Sword, he's gonna annihilate this guy, yep. So just like that, and I'm probably gonna be skipping, or actually not showing and cutting the battles so that it does not get boring for you guys, and uh, yeah, okay, so I have to go forward. Let's break that. Let's get this. And now, oh, there's an Arcanist right there. Okay. Come on, dude. Okay, I'm just gonna attack you then. These battles are really short, but you have to play carefully. Because Celica might die. These enemies are pretty strong. Okay, so I think we have to go this way. Yep, and here, um, oh, wow, this guy's following me, okay, let me attack you. Oh, so Jesse can actually talk to Saber, 
that is pretty nice. Uh, let's take you out first with Atlas. And then we can get a nice level up. <laughs> wow, only defense. Atlas does not even need defense. Look at his strength. 25 attack. That's really a lot. That's a lot, dude. Trust me. And then we can use a Scalibur. Okay, that guy's gonna live. That's a bummer. Uh, can Katria even land a hit? Yep, she's gonna land a hit. And then we can use... Uh, okay, let's use Leon. To attack this witch. There we go. Killing her through the pillar. And... Okay, um... Then we can just use... Uh, Excalibur. Actually... Oh, wow. I think I should have... Never mind. Um, actually, I'm just gonna trade the... Uh, Mage Ring, and then I'm gonna use Excalibur on this Arcanist to get a crit on him. And then I can just use Jesse. I guess I'm gonna talk with Saber. Hey again, Saber. So, have you thought about what you're gonna do once this job's over? Of course I have. I'll just pick up and go looking for the next one. Yeah? Hmm, seems like kind of a waste if you ask me. Selica's the type who'd find you a good post when she's in charge, you know. Do I seem like some kind of royal court kiss up to you? I just hope she don't make the world too peaceful then put me out of work. Huh. That's, uh, quite a thing to hope for. I really like how level-headed Saber is and he expects nothing from Selica. So let's kill this witch with Jesse. And he's gonna get a lot of experience. And from here, I'm probably gonna skip the battles. Okay, so... We have to go here. Um, yeah, here. And here we can find a treasure chest. That is gonna give us a weapon. Which is Lady Blade. And this is the weapon, pretty much. Um... Yeah, it has got 6 might and only 1 weight. It's pretty good, I guess. You can definitely give it to some of your priestesses, like me or Sonia. That can definitely work out. And um, we have to go to the Lux Spring, which is on that side. So, okay, not here. Yeah, this is a pretty big freaking place. Uh, let's break these things. Maybe we'll get something out of that. Give me something. Silver Mark, Silver Purse. Oh, wine. That's good. That can definitely be sold for some Silver Marks. And here we can find a Sacred Spring that gives luck. Luck is not really that important stat, but I mean, hey, it helps. So why not take it? Who's got uh, least amount of luck? Sonia. So let's give her that. Let's give her more so that she does not ever miss. And let's go back. And let's go here, and... Now we'll have to fight the boss of this floor. Pretty much every floor has got a boss here. And on this floor, this fiend, this fiend is gonna be the main boss. So let's battle him. Yeah, you cannot really get a premature attack on him. So, he's got uh, four Dread Fighters, three Arcanist, and he's got himself. I really hate how you cannot select units on this, like on these battles. That would definitely make my life a lot easier. So, let's put Saber here. We have to move very carefully. These Dread Fighters are pretty damn strong. And uh, we have to... Uh, okay. So, what's your attack? Plus four, 21... Okay, 13. Atlas would be absolutely amazing here, but unfortunately, cannot really put him right there. So I'm gonna put, um, I'm gonna put Conrad here. And then we can, uh, these guys, okay. So I think I'm gonna put Sonia in the range of these guys, because Sonia has got a lot of resistance. So she can definitely, uh, take on these guys, even if they have Meyer Tome, which is, uh, Three ranged tome. So let's put. Uh, okay. Which one of you is more troublesome? 
Yeah, all of you are pretty much same. So let's put Sonia here. Let's put Jenny here actually to support Sonia. Let's talk to uh, Saber. Uh, not Saber. Atlas. My bad. Sometimes I really mess up the name. Atlas, I've been thinking. Oh, um, yeah. I mean, what about? Well, I know you miss your younger brothers a great deal. So I thought maybe it would help to think of me as your younger sister. Um, sorry? I know brothers and sisters aren't quite the same, especially as we aren't blood. But, well, I thought it might help regardless. Well, gosh, that's awfully nice, but it's a bit more than not quite the same. I mean, you're about a million times too proper to pass for one of my brothers. Ah, oh, I see. In that case, I apologize. It's just that I see you giving your all for my sake, so... Well, I was merely hoping there might be something I could do for you. That's a swell thought, Lady Selica. But just the thoughts more than enough for me. I knew you were kind, but you're also pretty dang interesting to boot. Makes me that much happier I signed on with you. I, is that so? Well, I'm glad to hear it. At least, I think I'm glad? Alright, so let's wait. And, um... Let's put our units here. Atlas should be here, actually. On this side, we've got more enemies, I feel like. Put Jesse here, okay. Oh, so, yeah, these Arcanists have started to move. So, we have to take out this guy with Saber right away. And then he's gonna get a level up. Now he's at level 7. And... We can take out this Arcanist from here. Alright, Jesse's gonna come through and get a crit. That's amazing. Really good work. And then we can just use Mage Ring, actually. And just annihilate these, uh... These, uh, Arcanists. If we hit, that is. That's the main thing. And we can have Atlas absolutely destroy this guy with crits. Yep. Absolutely destroy it. And, um... He's gonna get a level up. Okay, so we can just weaken you, and then maybe Katria can- no, Katria cannot take you out. Uh, that's unfortunate. Okay, so let's use, uh, Excalibur. Yeah, Excalibur is the way to go, we're gonna get a crit, that's really good, and then we can trade the Mage Ring to Salika, and then use Salika, and she's gonna learn Revorp. Oh. That's really good, okay. So, let's trade the Mage Ring, and then let's use, uh, Excalibur. Well, this guy actually dies because we weakened him, so let's use Fire Magic, which only takes 1 HP from us. Wow! Really good level up. Nice. And these Dread Fighters are left, and then, uh, this Fiend is actually gonna approach us, I'm pretty sure. Let's heal up. Conrad. Let's put him here. And let's put Katria here. Yeah, so these guys are gonna approach us. And uh, we can basically just try to kill them. As we have got Atlas, who has got a lot of crit chances. There we go. Atlas is such an amazing offensive unit. That's why I love making him a um, into a mercenary line. So that I can promote him to a dread fighter. Definitely Archer. Atlas is pretty good as well because having two Archers is definitely very good. But I don't know. I just like him because of his high offensive stats. So let's take out this guy with Jesse. Okay. He's not going to take out that Red Fighter. I guess Conrad can do something about that. Or we can use Leon. Okay, so Leon is going to finish off that guy. And then we can just use, uh... We can just use Excalibur. Uh, this guy has got Javelin, so he's gonna be doing a lot of damage if he hits. But, of course he's not gonna hit, as he's gonna die to one crit. And that's first floor. So we cleared that. And now we can go to the second floor. And that is pretty good. And here we can find, uh... Um... A skill, um, skill, Sacred Spring. I'm pretty sure this is the floor which has got a lot of gargoyles in the hallways. 
Like, I'm pretty sure. Uh, let's break these, actually. Yeah, there is that gargoyle. I remember correctly. So this is that hallway. So yeah, these hallways have got a lot of gargoyles. And they can be relatively annoying since you will not be able to double them for the most part unless you have uh, really strong units at this point in the game. So we can get some silver marks and some drinking water. Uh, okay, let me pick it up. Nothing there. And then um, we can actually find Mila's cog here in this room. There should be another gargoyle here, probably. Nope, there's no gargoyle, okay. So we can get mana herbs, and we can get this. Alright, more mana herbs, that's really good. Some more flower. So we got ham, some silver marks, and let's open this treasure chest. Let's get the Mila's turn wheel cog. And let's break these. Uh, pretty sure we got a lot of things from that, I think. Okay, silver mark. That is good. And let's continue. There are gonna be more gargoyles here. There has to be more of them. <laughs> For sure, there has to be more of them. Is there? So here is this fatigue sacred spring and that can pretty much heal up the fatigue and I think those were the only gargoyles on this floor, I wanna believe. Uh, let's... Oh, there's one. Ugh. And uh, then here, we can... Oh my god, another gargoyle. Good god. And then we can go here and pretty much go this way to find a sacred spring, which gives uh, skill. And we can break these. So many barrels to break and get stuff from. We got sausage, okay. Okay. So let's use the uh, skill, Sacred Spring, and uh, definitely want to give that to who misses a lot. I feel like Est misses a lot. Does she? Yeah, only 13 points. Yeah, Esther's got really bad skill uh, stat. We can even use that on Katria and Atlas, who are uh, more potent units, I want to say. Okay, so we are done, and now we can battle the uh, main boss of this floor, which is this Necro Dragon. Okay. So this map has got one annoying bonite, um, some gargoyles, and that's pretty much it. it? Right. So we can put Saber here on the pillar, and then um, these gargoyles, okay. So we can put... we can talk to Conrad first, I guess. Aunties, everything alright? Uh, Conrad? What happened to your mask? I decided to stop wearing it when you're around. I mean, how could I keep it on after what you said last time? Oh, I was only teasing, Conrad. Please don't take it to heart. Even if you didn't mean it seriously, it's serious to me. Oh, come on, brother. Don't be like that. Wow, that was a really short conversation. <laughs> so let's put uh, Conrad here. And uh, we have got these Nectro Dragons as well, so we have to stay out of their range. Our only put units who can actually take hits from them. I'm unstoppable. So Salika is gonna get attacked. Uh, that is fine, actually. Yeah, that is fine. Can uh, we can have uh, S tier. And actually, let's... Uh, yeah, let's do that. 
Okay, so this guy's gonna die to a crit. This guy's not gonna die, okay. And Conrad is gonna take on these gargoyles. Alright, so this is pretty good. That's what you wanna do. You wanna um, distribute the enemies. You're not supposed to take on them at once. Otherwise, you're gonna get overwhelmed pretty easily. And that's not good at all. Okay, S is not able to kill him. Um, let's kill you with Atlas then. Alright, so let's take out... Um, you're not a threat anymore. You're weakened. And we can take you out. We exactly do not take you out. Conrad can take out this Nectar Dragon. There we go. Wow, that didn't really give too much experience. Danny can take out this guy. And then we can just wait for these Nectar Dragons to proceed pretty much. Alright. Who's gonna approach us? Nobody. Come on. You're not really that scary. You can approach us. We are pretty good. Let's put Saber here to bait out this uh, Necro Dragon. Okay, not Necro Dragon. This. Yeah, Necro Dragon and this. Uh, <laughs> this. Um, Bow Knight. Okay. So, Saber can definitely finish off this guy. Atlas can. This guy has got very good defense, but very poor resistance. So Sonia can take care of this guy. Okay, she's not really gonna kill him. But I guess Est can land the kill. There we go. She's gonna get a level up. I'm feeling pretty useful today. Yeah. Please feel more useful. That would be really good for us. Since you're Est. Um... Let's use Seraphim Magic. Let's just blow back this thing into another dimension. Yeah. And now we can have uh, someone like... Jesse get the kill. Oh wow, he cannot even kill. So this guy is so bulky on the defensive side. Come on. But Conrad is able to get the kill. So I think I'm gonna go for that. Yeah. So that was the boss of the second floor. And I think we did everything. Yeah, we used the skill Sacred Spring. We use the Fatigue Sacred Spring, and we also got Mila's Cog. Um, so let's proceed to the third floor, and... This floor, I think, is gonna be a bit tough, because we're gonna be facing Spectre enemies here. Pretty sure, some Dread Fighter Spectres, who are really, really strong. Yeah, there we go. There's this guy running around. Oh, he saw us. Let's run. We have to separate these enemies. We cannot let them attack us all at once otherwise it's gonna be pretty tough for us yeah come on come on chase us are you chasing me never mind and i believe there is another one of those here yeah i can see him on the map right there I can actually see him and we actually want to go here because there is an HP. Oh my god, this guy's just gonna approach us. And now we can go ahead and use the HP Sacred Spring, which is right here. We're gonna get some mana herbs. Um, HP. So, who needs HP? Definitely Selica, I feel like, and Sonia. Yeah. So let's break these. Let's get the flower. More mana herbs. So many of those. I believe there is a dread fighter up ahead. I feel like that. Is there anyone here? Nope. Nobody's here. Wow. So we are free to break all of these crates and boxes I'm just mashing a button like crazy Okay, so let's get these items which we got We got flour yogurt Silver mark right there and we have pretty much breaking everything here 
Yeah, so this floor is pretty straightforward. It does not really have too much. You only have that, uh, that, um, HP Sacred Spring, and that's pretty much it. And then there is a bow fighter right up ahead. And he's the final boss of this floor. He's pretty tough, I would say. But I guess, um, if you grind it, it's not really that big of a deal. So let's take him on. Yeah, so this is the map. Obviously, you want to take on one by one these enemies, otherwise uh, you're going to have a bad time. Uh, okay. So you definitely want to use the terrain to your advantage here. So we're going to put Conrad here. You definitely want to save Celica for, uh, for battles like these. Because if Celica dies, then you have to restart the whole dungeon. So you have to keep her safe. Very, very safe, actually. And then we can put Saber here, Jesse here, and Atlas uh, here. I think we are good to go. Uh, we can put Sonia here. At your service. And put Katria here. And talk to Katria with Est. Um, Katria? And what do you have for me today, little Miss Merchant? Oh, hush. I don't have anything. Well, that's a shame. I was almost looking forward to it. You know, I haven't just been fooling around with all these presents. I was really hoping they would make you happy. Anyway, that's it. I just wanted you to know that. Oh, you silly girl. Yes, you don't need to worry yourself about that. Just having you around guarantees things will never be boring here. Please, don't ever change, alright? Oh, Katria! Hmm? Wait. Hmm... That was a compliment, right? I mean, it made me happy. Should I feel happy? <laughs> I wonder. Poor Est. She will never know. So let's end our turn and hope that everything goes well. We have to use the terrain. Okay. Going good so far. Going good so far. We can definitely take out all of these enemies in this turn. So, uh, let's take out these bone walkers. The ones who have got Shadow Sword are the main threats. Other ones are not really that big of a threat because these ones with Shadow Sword can actually hit very hard. So, that's why um, you have to take them out first. So, let's take out this Nectar Dragon. First, actually, let's use. Um, can we use Leon? We can use Leon to kill this guy. And we can use Conrad, I feel like, to kill. Nope, not really kill. Um, all of these Bow Knights have got a lot of resistance too. So that's really tough. Please cred, Jesse. There we go. Good one. Really good one. And then we have to take out these uh, Bow Knights, actually, because they are really big threats. Okay, so Saber is going to get a level up. And like I said, you want to keep Celica extremely safe. Oh, wow, these guys have really bad hit rates. Okay, these guys have decently high hit rates. I guess I'm just going to use Physique on... Atlas, and then um, I'm gonna use these Nectar Dragons. Who has got more attack? These Bone Walkers have got more attack. But then I have to take out these guys as well. Okay, what should we do? Let's take you out with Seraphim Magic right away. So that's gonna mean something for us. And, you know, if we lose a unit, we can always use Miller's turn wheel. Well, I'm trying not to use Miller's turn wheel for the most part in this playthrough, but if the need comes to it, then I guess sure. Um, 
Let's take out this guy with the crit. Oh wow, Atlas is not gonna get a crit. That's really bad. That's really bad. Okay, so... You are really, really low. Okay. So let's attack you. Oh wow, Katria really get crit. That's amazing. Oh, uh, now... We have to hit this guy. Oh wow, we do not take you out. Someone is dying this turn. For sure, and then I'll have to use Mila's turn wheel, I feel like. Okay, who's dying? Est. Okay. Oh, wow. Really good. So. No one's dying, I guess. Jesse's gonna survive barely. So, as you can see, these battles are really close calls. These battles are no joke. They are no joke. Absolutely no joke. Yeah, I'm not really gonna take the risk. I'm just gonna use Seraph and Magic to take you out. And like I said, if you keep your Celica safe, then you'll be good for the most part, as you could always use Mila's turn wheel. But if Celica dies, then you are pretty much screwed and you have to start over the whole dungeon. And that can be really annoying actually. So that's the only thing you need to keep in mind. And this guy has got Silver Sword. And whenever you're on this battle, you have to take care of that one Bone Walker with uh, Shadow Sword. That guy is a threat. Kill him whenever you see him. Okay, so S is gonna get that kill. And that's the boss of this floor. So let's move on to the fourth floor. And here we can find this Kantar. Look at him running. He looks so stupid. Okay, Kantar, few snipers. That is fine. That is fine. Let's use Jesse to kill this guy. And let's use Atlas to kill this guy. There we go. And Atlas is gonna get a level up. Pretty good one. Not really that good, actually, but... Um, we can definitely use... Sonia to kill this guy, and then use Saber to attack this guy and kill him. And then only one Arcanist is left, so I guess we can weaken him. Okay, I actually misclicked. So let's use Seraphim Magic, and then let's use Conrad to kill this guy. And then Conrad is gonna get a level up. Level 4. That's the battle. Conrad is fatigued, so we have to use a food item on him now. Uh, let's use inventory. Let's give him something like... Something like flour, I guess? We have got so many of those. We can give him honey. Yeah, that's fine. That works. Um, okay. Where were we? Actually, we're right in front of that uh, Sacred Spring, which has got defense uh, pouring out of that. Bread, okay. And we got Holy Cheese. And let's use defense Sacred Spring. Uh... Who needs that? Definitely feel like Atlas would do really well. Atlas has got 14 defense! More than Saber. Oh, actually, same as Saber. <laughs> and uh, let's use that on Katria. Conrad has got 15 defense. Everyone has got really good defense. Um, I guess Jesse can definitely use that. Alright, so let's proceed now. And we have to go here. And I feel like there is an enemy. Oh, there is a fiend! We have to battle him, actually. Actually, we can just run from him. Oh, no, there is a Mogal. Okay, this fiend is gonna attack us. Alright, so I beat that fiend. And before we go on this side, we have to go all the way here. And, uh... 
go to the attack Sacred Spring. Oh, there's a Kantar. Oh god, run away from him. Alright, so I beat that Kantar and let's break these barrels. Okay, we're gonna get this. Um, oh god, there is a Spectre enemy. But we have to face him. Now we can safely go into that Sacred Spring area and get the attack uh, from that. Before that, we can break these, I guess. Mana herbs. Silver purse, I think. And look at that. Now I'm sitting at 249 silver marks. When I entered this dungeon, I only had six of those. So attack. This is one of the important ones. Um, Saber can definitely enjoy some attack. S can definitely uh, really enjoy that, actually. Katria can also have that. And I'm gonna give that to Saber. Okay. And now we have to go and face that Mogul enemy so that uh, we can proceed and go to the top floor of Duma Tower where Jeddah is waiting for us. So yeah, as you can see, this is not an easy map. Uh, this guy's gonna reproduce because he's got divide thing going on for him. And uh, shadow sword, brave sword, really threatening enemies actually, really threatening. Steel lance, I guess, is fine. This guy's only a sniper. Oh, okay. So let's take you out first. All right, I'll handle this. Actually, we can go here. Yeah, let's do this. Okay, Saber cannot really take out these witches. Ah, oh, that's annoying. I guess I'm gonna lend him my brave sword, and then he'll be able to finish off this witch pretty easily. Jesse can finish off this witch pretty easily. Nice going, nice. And those are those two. Um, guess this gold knight can approach us. Um, yeah, so these gargoyles have got a pretty enormous range. Well, we can put uh, Conrad here. I have to be very careful around these bone walkers because they are pretty strong. They are no joke. They are no joke at all. And we can use uh, white magic. Actually, on no one. We can put Katria here. And put S tier so that she can support. Um, support. Katria. And then I can use Expel. Okay, so that guy with Brave Sword is gonna go. So that's pretty good. And then this guy has got Fortify. Ugh. Okay. Okay, so Jesse's gonna get a level up. This gold knight is going to be attacking Katria and he's going to miss. And these things are going to reproduce a lot. <laughs> a lot. And, uh, wow, we have to take out this Mogal. Who can we take help of? Yeah, I can handle this. Oh, wow, this guy's gonna live. Uh, that sucks. We're gonna take you out with Leon, get a level up. And then we can maybe hopefully get a crit. Please, Saber. Yes, there we go. So now we actually do not have to waste our Jenny to heal up uh, Jesse. If that Moga lived, then he would have attacked Jesse. So that's really good for us. And 
these Mogals have started to reproduce. These things are pretty fearsome, to say the least. Let us proceed. Now these things are not really a problem. We can use Seraphim magic. On this guy to take him out. He's got Shadow Sword. So obviously he's no joke. Let's use Expel. Alright, there we go. I'm taking notes from you. Down goes those two gargoyles. Those damn gargoyles. So we can easily get a crit on this gold knight. I guess we're not gonna get that. But that's fine. We can always use Katria. There we go. And then we can heal up... Uh, Jenny. And then we have to take on these Mogals. Let's put Conrad here. So let's put him here. Okay. So, because these things are great terrors, we cannot really eradicate them with Expel, unfortunately. So that stinks, I guess. Um... We can definitely put Jesse here. Uh, who are in the attack range? Okay. And then... I have to keep Selica very safe. And honestly, Conrad can take on these uh, Mogals pretty easily. Pretty swiftly, actually. And then we can attack these guys. From here, if we get that chance, we can heal up uh, Jesse. We can move Saber here. Okay, who's in the range? I guess this guy can move. Damn, he's got Javelin. Um. I guess we could use Celica, but then Celica... Okay, Celica is not gonna get bombarded. Thunder spell is not gonna take out that guy. So we have to trade the... Um, trade the Mage Ring. Heal up Celica bit. And then we can move Celica here, and then use Seraphim Magic to take out that guy pretty easily. And now only three Mogarls are left, and let's put everyone here. Okay, so Conrad is gonna take on these guys like a champ. And we can finally just go ahead and try to finish off these enemies. Um, can I use black magic on that guy? Really wanna kill that guy. Okay, that sniper has got that much range. We have to be careful around that um, that sniper. Let's attack you from here with Katria. Oh, Katria is gonna miss. Damn, that sucks. Okay, that really sucks. Oh god, now this is gonna take a while. So let's finish you off. Someone's and we can use Celica to finish off this guy. Now only that Mogal is left. But he's being checked by that sniper. So that really sucks. And we can move Jesse. These guys. Uh, okay. These fiends are a really big problem. So we can definitely put Saber here. He loved Jesse a bit. And then put Jesse here as well. And then use uh, Leon to attack these guys. Hopefully we can get a crit. Okay, no crits. And then... Wow, Sonia cannot even go here, I think. No, she can. And we're gonna trade the Mage Ring. And then we're gonna use White Magic to heal up Celica. Okay, so that Mogal is gonna die. This Mogal is also gonna die. Looking good so far, looking good so far. And then we can go ahead and 
actually trade Mage Ring once again because Zelika has to take out that uh, that Mughal. Yeah, all right. So she's gonna get a crit. Really good. I cannot really put my units in the range of these fiends, so that's why. And then I'm gonna put my uh, Jenny here, and pretty much just use. Uh, okay, cannot really use expel. We can move Jesse here and talk to him with uh, Saber. So I've been thinking, Saber. That's dangerous. Yeah, but anyway, what do you think of a country made up of mercs like us? Huh? What's that even mean? Just what it sounds like. A country made for folks like us. Free from Zofia and Regal both. No nobles, no commoners, just a place where anyone can live free. And when somebody asks for our help, we go help them. For a fee, of course. You're a real dreamer. You know that, right? Though, I gotta say, the idea ain't half bad. Right? Hey, every dream's gotta start somewhere. <laughs> and then we can use white magic on... Who needs healing? Yeah, let's use that on Jesse. And Jenny's gonna get a level up, and then... Uh, we can definitely try to take out the sniper, but that's really hard to do. Yeah, that's hard to do. I think I'll just use Major Ring Celica to get rid of him. Alright, so these Mogals have died. Now let's use our Mage Ring Celica to finish off this guy. I do not think, yeah, this guy does not have that high reach. So Salika is gonna get rid of that guy. I wanna play extremely safely right here. I do not wanna mess up, especially when I'm at the final boss of this, uh, of this floor. So I can go around from here with Leon and try to attack, um, that Mogal. Let's use, uh, Recover. I'm also gonna be taking out these, uh, fiends pretty easily with my Mage Ring units. Okay, so they have started to approach us. That is fine. That is fine. Um, okay, let's see. We can definitely put Sonia here. On that pillar, this guy has got Javelin, so he's gonna be doing tons of damage to us. Let's attack you with the... Uh, with Leon. And then, um... I think I'm gonna stall out a bit. Yeah, I'm not gonna attack them right here. Because this guy is going to weaken Sonia quite a lot. We can finish off this Arcanist who had uh, Fortify. So that really helps us. And we can move with our units this way. I really want to play very defensively. Um, let's wait. Put Saber here and Jesse here. I guess here. Okay, so I guess we have somewhat separated these fiends to a degree, but they are after Leon, and I do not like one bit of that. Uh, okay, so he's definitely gonna take a beating. Oh, we have to reach Leon very quickly. So let's attack these Mogal. 
Let's take you out. Okay, almost there. I'm gonna put Conrad here. I'm gonna bait out these uh, units. I'm not letting Leon take the hits. Who's got better defense? Um, Saber has got better defense. So we can put him here. I think that's a mistake. Yeah, I should not have put Saber there. He can still dodge the heads. Okay. Good. And then now we can just use uh, our magical units. I guess from here. Seraphim takes you out, so that's good. You leave little room for critique. And then let's trade the mage ring. Let's use white magic and then um How much damage does Jenny take? Wow, she takes a lot. This guy actually doubles her because uh, she has got one speed pretty much. That's really low. That's funny. Aunties. Oh, I didn't know you were so close by. <laughs> kind of funny how we keep running into each other like this, huh? This is hardly the time for idle chit-chat, Conrad. Everyone else is fighting their hardest, and we need to do the same. Why can't you be as sharp and dashing as when you were the masked knight? Wait, dashing? Dashing? Uh, one second. Any who dare lay a hand on my sister shall feel the sting of my blade. <laughs> yes, that's the spirit. Let's wait. And I think we are good. All right, he did a lot of damage. He did a lot. Let's use a Scalibur. All right, weakened him. Now we can trade the Mage Ring and use Thunder Magic. Okay, he's almost dead. Almost. All right, Jenny's gonna get that kill, and that is gonna be it. That didn't take long. Selica killed so many units. Yeah, everyone is fatigued, I know. And now we can go to the tower top. And here we have got uh, Jeddah. And I do not think there is anything. So... Let's talk to him. Impressive. I did not expect all of you to make it here. Enough talk. I will see Mila now. Where is she? <laughs> Such impatience is unseemly, your highness. And at any rate, I'm afraid Mila isn't here. She's underground, on Lord Duma's altar. I don't understand. I can grant you sight if you so desire. Gaze now upon your precious Earth Mother. Oh no! What have you done? She... she's been turned to stone! Look there! Piercing her brow. Is that... Falchen? You have a keen eye, boy. It is indeed the Divine Blade. You will likely doubt me when I say this, but that was Miller's doing. The moment Emperor Rudolph sealed her power, Mila sealed away Falchion. Do not ask me her motive in this, for I understand it not. But no force in this world now remains which can harm Lord Duma. She's left her children to their fates. <laughs> no, this is impossible. Mila, I don't understand. Why would you do this? Have you truly forsaken us? <laughs> Your lamentations are wasted, child. If you truly wish for her release, 
You know what must be done. You must offer up your soul to Lord Duma. Did he just say what I think he said? Offer her soul? Oh, gods! Celica, no! He wants to turn you into a witch! That is a really bad idea! <sighs> There's no other choice. Without the Divine Dragon's power, all of Valentia's people are lost. And the only thing that can save the dragons is the soul of a brand bearer. So, that's what you couldn't tell us. <sighs> Aunties, you made me a promise, remember? You promised not to throw your life away again. I'm sorry, Conrad. I'm sorry, everyone. Please forgive me. I can't tell you how much it means to me that we've come so far together. Aunties! You lot are no longer necessary. Be gone to wherever you will. Huh? <sighs> no! Calm yourself, your highness. I've merely sent them below. As for your preparations, I fear they will take some time yet. You can while away the hours here, watching the boy suffer. All right, so that was the Duma Tower, and uh, Jeddah is up to something, and Mila has sealed away that Falchion so that no human or pretty much anyone can use that. So that is going to be it for this episode. Let me know how much time it took you to uh, complete this Duma Tower and uh, how easy or hard it is for you. So yeah, with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day.